Welcome to Learning How to Use Math Type Part 3. In this example, I'm going to show you a pretty amazing piece that Math Type does with matrices that you can do with matrices in Math Type. So, this is the um, a little graphic that I, I have already created it in Math Type, but I'm going to show you how I did it by creating it again in Math Type. So, I am in Keynote this time around and I'm going to insert a math type equation and my math type window opens. So from here I want to create a matrix. This is our matrix tool right here. Now the first thing to do is decide how big your matrix is. Now this is one of the preset patterns in matrices and what we want to do is choose our own size. And we do that, and we have to go back and look and see how big our matrix is. How many rows we got? One, two, three rows, not including these uh, border lines. So we have three rows, and we have one, two, three, four, five columns. So that part's just right. Click on, well, before we do that, let's go ahead and add these, um, these bars and you notice you can add them and if you click on them again you can change what their formatting is and keep on clicking until you can take them away. So that's a solid one, that's dash, this is dotted, and then there's none. So you can put those anywhere in, uh, in, in, th in around your matrix. Uh, row alignment is at baseline. You can make it at the bottom. Uh, you can experiment with how that looks column alignment is going to be centered which means the number here gets centered under that word right there. Um, and you can again play with the formatting for whatever works for your for whatever is appropriate for your particular application. Equal column widths can be useful or not. I'm going to choose not equal column widths so that I can let the words decide how big they are decide how big my um, column that particular column should be. Click on OK. There's my matrix. Now you don't have to have something in every single entry. So in this one, I'm going to click in there, go up to the style menu, type text, and then type the word concrete. If I tab out of that, then I'll be in the next block, which is going to be lumber. And I forgot to make that text, so I'm going to select that. I don't know if I can do that right here. Yes, it does. And then it just converts that to a uh, textual rather than italics, which would be more of a math text kind of a thing. Tab to get out of the word, tab to move over to the next blank. Brick, and again, I forgot to, I'm going to double click on that word, change it to text. And here I'll try to remember to do that first, and then shingles. Then over here, the word colonial, make it text. And then here, now the other thing you can do is copy and paste and then double click and then change it. Maintain the formatting that it was before so you don't have to, I could have picked that word up and copied it and then pasted it here and here and here. Just change the letters without having to fuss with that style menu up there. Now, I'm going to start by copying what's in here in the table, but let me point out that you could put anything you want, including another little matrix in some of these spots. So let me do a two by two. See now, my, this entry can be um, uh, a, a matrix within a matrix. That's a very cool feature. So if you want more complication or less complication, and if you decide you don't want that there, then just erase or delete it, select it and delete it, and then it's gone. It's back to just a single entry. You can also put math equations in these things, 2x minus 3. Um, you can put mathematical symbols in these things like pi. There's pi from math type. Um, and of course none of this means anything within the context of concrete and lumber and brick and shingles, but I'm just showing you the uh, abilities of math type. You can put a fraction in one of these things. Um, 4 over, I'm just going to, this is outrageous, but I'm going to put it here anyway log, and as soon as I type the word log, and it knows that it should be a 
text sort of thing. And then I need my subscript to make it log base, oh, base three. Then navigate out of the log to make it, put an argument in my logarithm, um, 47, okay? And uh, then I can continue to put more stuff wherever I want it. And five and tab and fractions. We've already done fractions. We can do negative numbers, negative point, or let's try this, 0 0.37. And we can, I think we can even do percents, 45%. So you can put any kind of data you want in these um, matrices. Every one of them is a, uh, a separate math type equation. That's a very cool feature. Okay, now let's just say I want to leave that one blank. Let's see what it looks like when I return it to um, Keynote. It's way too small, so bring it bigger, make it bigger, size it bigger. And yes, notice that when I grab a side button or a top button, that the thing maintains its proportionality. It just doesn't get taller. It gets taller and wider when I when I grab any of the buttons or any of the edge uh, handles to make it bigger. So that is using matrices in um, math type and um, that's math type part three and have fun.